Hello YouTube, Schwak here, and today we are taking a look at a mod that I've been somewhat obsessed with here lately in Minecraft. The name of the mod is Redstone in Motion, or RIM. Now, some of you watching this video may be familiar with it, some of you may not. But whether you are or not, we're going to be talking about it here, and basically what I've built is a small door to just kind of demonstrate some of the mechanics, and then once we take a look at this, I'm going to actually build an elevator so that we can take a further look at kind of how this works. Wrong switch. So flip that lever, we can see the door opens like so. Flip this one and we can close it. So Redstone in Motion basically allows you to animate Minecraft, essentially. It allows you to move blocks and lots of them. You can make huge giant doors, elevators, and all kinds of cool stuff. Once you really get familiar with how the mod works, you can really do some pretty awesome stuff. Now, let's take a look at the mod itself. So, we can see here that there's a bunch of frames or carriages. Uh, we have a bunch of different carriage engines and ways of manipulating or interacting with these frames. Uh, in, in this video, I'm going to be pretty much focusing on these template carriages and the carriage engine. Just need to grab a screwdriver and we're good. So the carriage, there, there's different types of, of motors and engines here. Uh, the carriage engine, whenever you build something, using the frames or carriages, the carriage engine moves with the entire contraption or whatever you build. <clears throat> the carriage motor moves the contraption while staying put. So whatever you build, it's going to move it or interact with it, but the motor itself isn't going to move. It's going to stay stationary. Uh, then we have the carriage controller, which is controlled by computer craft. So it's really cool. You can you can interact with all this stuff with computer craft and you don't have to use uh, redstone logic. Although redstone logic is my favorite mainly because I suck at computer craft. So there you go. If you're really good at Lewis scripting and computer craft, you can do some really awesome stuff. Now, if anybody's watching this video and you are good with computer craft or Lewis scripting, Drop me a line, let me know, because I'm working on a project right now, and uh, I could use some uh, some some help. Um, and then we have the translocator, which can teleport carriages, so that's pretty cool. So, like I said, we're going to be focusing on these, which is a template carriage. And I'm just going to copy that block real quick, set one of those down, perfect. All right, so let's start building. So what I'm going to build, I'm just going to build a simple little platform elevator. It's just going to go up and down, nothing too crazy or fancy. So the first thing is you want to lay out your frames and the pattern that you're going to want. Now I recommend that when because when, when using certain things such as these frames that you kind of use other blocks to draw out your pattern. Make sure you know what you're going to do before you do it because that way you don't have to break your control block and reset the whole thing. Now. I just mentioned control block. So the control block is going to be the block that we attach the engine to. And uh, so in this case, it's going to be this middle block right here. I'm going to shift right click it. That turns it into the solid block on all sides. It is now the control block. And all I got to do is just simply right click it again, not shift right click, just normal right click. And we can see that the uh, carriages that I attached to it are now turned to great. Now what this means is you can now fill these with whatever block of your choice. Um, in this case let's choose something, let's do iron blocks uh, because why not. So we're gonna just fill this in. So when they're when, when the carriages are gray they're they're hollow as you can tell I can just freely move through them. However they still will interact with the environment so whatever blocks I put inside them here it will still manipulate. This this whole thing is still going to move. Now, just one quick note about that. I've had people tell me that they're, they really don't like this mod because they build stuff like this and whenever contraptions move, other blocks tend to get stuck in them or something like that and it's kind of random. Well, it's not actually random. The problem is, is a lot of times they have free blocks like this kind of just floating out in space. Uh, now the thing is when I right click on this you can see that they disappear. Well, they're not actually gone. They're still there. So if this contraption moved down one more block, this carriage is going to interact with that block there and pick it up. So 
just because they're out of sight doesn't mean they're gone. It just cleans it up so that they're so that you can't see it, right? So there you go. Just a quick explanation. Whoops. Put the engine down. All right. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this mod. You can move things. You can. I haven't found anything that you can't move with this mod. And the interesting thing is, as long as you have a something inside of a carriage or a frame, you can manipulate it. You can move it. So, which is how we're gonna interact with this and and move it around. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some red alloy wire from Project Red because Project Red is awesome. I'm gonna get some framed. You're, you're gonna want two different types of framed cable. Uh, it doesn't matter what colors you use, just two different colors. So in this case, I'm gonna use green and red, and I'm gonna get some framed bundled cable. So I'm gonna put some red alloy wire on the bottom. Just bust this out or excuse me, on the top and on the bottom. All right, like so. Now, let's see. I'm gonna put the green on the bottom and the red on the top. Okay, so you, you're gonna need this on whatever, you're gonna need to put redstone on whatever side you wanna move something in, right? So these engines and motors move in the direction from which they're receiving a redstone signal. So if I apply redstone to the bottom, it's going to move it up. If I apply redstone to the top, it's going to move it down. Make sense? Okay. Not too. It's not too complicated, right? So I'm just going to put move this up. And you're going to see why I have to make this like this in a minute. Uh, just knock some of this out. I'm going to bring this out, and I'm going to put down our control blocks. Alloy wire there. I'll do green on this side and red on that side myself a lever. Like so. Now, go back to my screwdriver. There we go. Okay, so now we have it pretty much set up. So I can right click on my control block and there we go. There's a the contraption. Okay, so now if I go to this side and I right click on this lever, it moves up. But uh-oh, we have a problem. Okay, so it's receiving a constant redstone signal, but it only moved once. What's up with that? Well, that's because of a setting on the engine itself. So if you take your screwdriver and you right-click on it, you'll see this little graphic appear. When that graphic appears, that means it's now set to a perpetual state. So a constant redstone signal will keep it moving. So I flip the switch, and off it goes. Now we're going to notice that uh, something's going to happen. So it's gone and now it's essentially gone off the track that we've created. We've created a track out of this bundled cable. Now it's gone off the track. So if I try to move it down, obviously it's not going to move down. So let me just extend this real quick and I'll show you how to solve that. So there's a couple ways that you can solve something moving beyond what you want it to move. One is a hard break, which I'm about to show you. It's kind of the lazy man's way. And the other is using computer craft or timers and all sorts of uh, other fun stuff. But I'm lazy, so I use hard breaks. So what that means is you essentially just put a block. Uh, let me just start moving this down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you essentially just put a block in the way of the contraption, and it's going to stop it dead in its tracks. So I've put a block there. It stopped. Even though it's still receiving a redstone signal, it just stops it. And this doesn't hurt anything. It's not going to break anything. It just stops it. All right, so turn the redstone signal off. Let me switch this back to day. So that's a hard break. Not too, not, nothing too crazy. It's just kind of, like I said, it's, it's the lazy man's way of doing it. And there's actually another benefit to doing a hard break. Or, uh, yeah, another reason that I do a hard break is I found out that if you're running a server that has a bunch of stuff going on, lots of mods, lots of people, uh, timer redstone timers aren't too reliable. They may miss your mark by a tick or so, and you know they kind of speed up and slow down, and weird things can happen. But with a hard break, weird stuff can't happen. So hard breaks in computer craft, I think, are the way to go. Now, if you'll notice, even though it touched this block here, it didn't pick it up. Why is that? Well, if you remember what I said earlier, that's because there's no empty carriage in that spot. If there, if I'd put the block here where this empty carriage is, it would have picked it up and moved it with the contraption. 
So again, just keep that in mind. If there's empty carriages or frames, it will interact and manipulate those. So there you go. Simple little elevator just goes up and down. Got a simple door over there. And so I'm going to go ahead, stop the video here, switch over to my main server, and show you guys some applications with Redstone in motion. We'll be back. All right, and I'm back. Okay, so we are in one of the entrances to my base. Uh, over here, there is a door that is controlled by redstone in motion and activated by detector track. So on the outside, when a minecart runs over detector track, it triggers a short, I guess, uh, what would you call it, delay. After that delay ticks off, then the door lowers, the Minecraft comes across, or <laughs> the Minecraft, the minecart comes across, hits this detector rail, and closes the door as it keeps going. So it will eventually come to this elevator right here, which takes you down inside the base, again controlled by a detector track and uh, activa uh, activator track. So this detector track again has a delay on it, so the minecart can have time to get on top of this boarding track, which will hold it until it gets down to the bottom, a redstone signal is applied, and shoots the minecart off. And this is fully functional, and you can ride it, and I'm going to show that to you now. So let me get a minecart, and let me put it over here. So we come over, hits this, the delay has been triggered, and down we go. Starts moving down. Pretty cool. So you can see my frame bundled cable there. I kind of have it, well, I don't actually know if you can see this right now because something, okay, so every time I, I ride down this elevator, the lighting gets all crazy, and I'm not sure why. So... We may just have to get to the wait for it to get to the bottom for me to show you this. Yeah, I've I've no idea why that happens. Just gets all wonky. All right, so anyway, so the elevator goes down, and it's a bit of a ride. Okay, now we're getting to the bottom. Get to the bottom and redstone signal. Cart goes off and the elevator starts going back up. Get rid of that. Okay, so the elevator's on its way up and the lighting is still freaking out. Not sure why. Must be uh, something interesting with the mods. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, let's just kind of... Oh. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to try and get through this, even with the crazy lighting effects. So you can see here I've got bundled cable covered up by, not face aids, but uh, covers. I think they're called iron covers, or slabs, or whatever. Uh, you, can, you can hide cable this way. So it's pretty cool. This is just kind of a little elevator shaft that I've created. Uh, so down here, this entire platform is acting as a hard break. So it gets here, it can't go any further. Uh, this framed white insulated cable here when it gets down to the bottom is what applies the redstone signal to the track on the elevator to launch the minecart. So that's just kind of how that works. So I just wanted to show you that and I'm going to cut away here and go to another part of my base and show you one more application that I've used this for so far. And I'm back once again. Okay, so we are in the in the nuclear power plant for my base. And inside these bunkers, or behind these shields rather, are my nuclear reactors. They're Mark V nuclear IC2 nuclear reactors. So I have them behind these reinforced stone shields that I've created to, you know, just, it's, it's security, right? So just in case my redundant security systems fail in the event of a, that, that they overheat, this will help mitigate any damage should they explode. So. Now the thing is, because I have them hidden behind these shields, well, how do you service them? How do you get to them if you need to do something? Well, that's where redstone in motion comes in. Because I can flip this lever, and it raises the shields, like so. So it raises them, you can kind of see up into there, and that's it, right there. So here's the reactors, and I can, I can get to them. I can do stuff. I can interact with them. So that's kind of how that works. So can close it, 
just like that and this side too opens up whoops if I hit the right lever so reveals more nuclear reactors same thing so you can just kinda see how that works and you can you know just play around with this mod it's really cool it's an awesome mod um, download it try it out play around with it build some cool stuff I'd love to see what cool things people build you can kinda play around with the aesthetics you know hiding stuff hiding the circuitry and whatnot so it's pretty cool I really like this mod like I said kinda been a little upset uh, obsessed with it I'm actually building a lot of other stuff with it right now just kinda go through my airlock here so I'm gonna have a bunch of links well and by a bunch I, I just mean like two um, one of the links is gonna be to the mod so you can go download the mod redstone in motion and the other link is going to be to a super awesome project called ERAM. Now, the the guy that's heading up the project, uh, Master ZH, is actually the one who taught me how to really use Redstone Emotion. So, Master ZH has a super cool project going on right now called ERAM. It is the biggest, most technical, and most ambitious Minecraft project I think I've ever seen since this game came out. It is ridiculous the stuff that he is doing. So he kind of needs help. He needs people to help him build ERAM. He needs people to help him with all kinds of stuff. I was helping him until I got a new job that took up, that, that changed my timetables and I was no longer to help him out. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to have a link to his Feed the Beast form post in the video description below. Go check it out, help them out, uh, support them in any way you can. It's a super cool project and I really want to see this project get finished. So if you have any questions for me, drop me a line, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you didn't like it and I will see you on the other side. Have fun.